Merrimack Sports Weekly, where you guessed it, we bring you a Merrimack Sports update every week. We have a very exciting spring of sports ahead of us with 12 Merrimack teams currently in action. Matt, why don't you get us started with some hockey? Thanks, Mike. The men's hockey team played UNH twice last weekend, losing the first game in a shootout, but winning big the second game. 6-2 to two was the final score. Merrimack came out of the gate strong and never looked back. They had a dominant power play that game, taking seven shots and turning four of those into goals. This weekend, they begin a two-game stint against BU, a fierce opponent that Merrimack has yet to play this season. BU is currently ranked eighth in the nation, sitting with a record of 9-2. and two. This will definitely be a tough series, but the Warriors have a strong young team, so winning even one of these games would be a serious statement to Hockey East. Now, let's switch gears in a, a little bit and talk about the women's hockey schedule. It looks as though the women's hockey team has wrapped their season, at least according to the Merrimack Athletics site. They may have a few games to make up after being postponed, so as soon as that is updated, we'll definitely let you know. The women had a bit of a struggle this season, going 1-15 in and 16 games, but as we all know, Mike, a COVID season must be especially tough on college athletes. I'm sure the women will bounce back strong and shock much of Hockey East next winter. And after a lengthy hockey talk, I'll send it to you, Mike, to talk about how the women's and women's basketball teams are doing so far. So both men's and women's teams were active last night. Let's get things started on the women's side. They fell in an extremely competitive game that came down to the final seconds against Mount St. Mary's, losing by a score of 59 to 58. Merrimack was led by a strong performance by senior standout Mason Kimball, who had 21 points, eight rebounds, and three assists. But Matt, that's not all. She also added three steals and a block, rounding out what was just a simply a great performance. The loss brings the Warriors record to three and 10 on the year. The women's team looks to bounce back on March 4th against Sacred Heart. Now to the men's side. The men's team suffered their third consecutive loss last night, falling at home against St. Francis Brooklyn by a score of 84 to 71. In the loss, Merrimack was led by sophomore Ziggy Reed, who had 14 points, six rebounds, an assist, two blocks, and a steal. Despite the loss, Merrimack was winning by three at halftime and was looking to climb back over the NEC standings. The Warriors now sit at fourth in NEC play with just three games left on the schedule. Now, Matt, let's take a look at our Merrimack Sports Clip of the Week. This week's clip is of Merrimack College women's soccer's own Rebecca Hardy, with one of the best goals I've ever seen. Now, Matt, I know you played soccer and probably have a much better leg than I do, but I couldn't even imagine kicking a ball that far, and let alone with that kind of accuracy. Let's see the clip. That is an absolutely incredible kick. I think I scored maybe two of those in my lifetime, but they were in high school. I couldn't imagine doing that in a Division I soccer game. I'd probably tear a muscle or yeah. something. I don't know. What a boot, though. A dominant win against a team that has been D1 for much longer than Merrimack against mm -hmm. Humane. Right. I think it was 2 nothing, right? It was. Yeah. So Hardy and the rest of the Warriors will take the field again and look to get back into the win column on March 2nd against St. Francis Brooklyn. And then now before we go, let's take a look at what's in store for Merrimack Sports this upcoming weekend. This Saturday, February 27th, men's lacrosse takes on UMass Lowell. Men's tennis takes on Boston University. Men's hockey will also face off against BU. And on Sunday, women's cross country competes in the NEC Championships. All right, everyone, that's all the time we have for today. We wish all our Merrimack sports teams the best of luck in the games this weekend and with the remainder of the season. Thanks for watching Merrimack Sports Weekly, everyone. We'll see you next time.